6 9 is a rapper that is very infamous right now because of the current set of things he's doing. Mainly, he was arrested last year and he's now snitching on just about everyone who was once loyal to him or helped him. He's breaking the law of rap and there will be consequences. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Speaking of Cardi B, social media went crazy after news broke that 6 9 snitched on her. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Why did 6 9 have to snitch? At all. To prosecute the defendant for the crime set forth in counts one through nine, as well as additional crimes that the defendant has told the government about. To understand the consequences of 6 9 snitching, you have to understand what caused him to snitch in the first place, because it was a series of events that led him to the deal he eventually took. In November of last year, 6 9 was about to drop his first studio album, but then on November 18th, he was arrested by federal authorities in New York on various crimes. That 6 9 was arrested over the weekend, along with his ex manager, Shoddy, and a another ex-crew member. These crimes included racketeering, conspiracy, possession of illegal firearms and substances, and much more. In case you're not familiar with the intricacies of the law, these are very serious charges he faced. That being said, 6 9 is no stranger to fights with the law. He's got a long rap sheet of various crimes and charges, but it was the FBI who did the arresting this time, and they did their homework on him before doing the arrest. This wasn't just some random bust either. They had been suspicious of him for a long time due to his alleged gang ties, as he would rap about being a member of a group called the Nine Trey Bloods. And so they worked hard to get a case against him. Man, then I try to warn him. You said try they to were going to try to fat Joe him. What were your exact oh, words, no, man? Gonna do it. They, I mean, they did it. Yeah. And that's when the November incident took place. And he was arrested, then jailed without bail for his crimes. He wasn't alone when he was arrested, though. For the FBI also named a former group of friends and his ex-manager as accomplices for many of these crimes. Which is ironic for many reasons. Not the least of which is because just days before his arrest, 6 9 fired his group and his manager. Maybe he knew what was coming. Maybe he was trying to prevent what was coming. It's hard to say, but all of them faced serious federal charges. And by serious federal charges, I do mean that he was facing life in prison on two different accounts. Because some of these charges weren't just pertaining to him, but to the group he was confirmed to be with in the way of the Nine Trey Bloods. Two of the counts were for life in prison, but even if he somehow skated away from those, which he's had a knack of doing in the past, he would still be facing up to 47 years in prison due to the charges. So as you can see from that recap, he wasn't exactly in the best place ever. Eventually, you could argue that he had never been in a worse place in his life, and he had a bit of a rough upbringing. His time in jail was apparently an eye-opener for 6 9 because he almost immediately asked the judge on the case to have him put into the non-violent offenders ward of the jail he was put into due to him being in danger. 6 9 was transferred and people were saying that he was released from jail, but obviously he wasn't. He was transferred to a different facility. Danger from who? Just about everyone in the jail due to his association with the Nine Trey Bloods. And even some of the Nine Trey Bloods were after him. Yeah, not a good time. Thus, the FBI decided to offer him a deal. One that would have him snitching on the crew that was arrested with him. Along with him giving up information on the Nine Trey Bloods, their operation, their reach, and much, much more. While we weren't in the room ourselves, we can bet he rushed to sign that deal once he knew it was legitimate and saved his butt. Although that sums up what was going on with 6 9 you no doubt have a very lingering question. How can there be consequences for the plea deal? The very next page, the transcript clearly says that the government has not made any promises about what the sentence will be and that the judge will set a sentence. I'll excuse such naivety because this is a very complex situation involving a lot of people. But to put it bluntly, every single action we take as a people has consequences. Some consequences are good and some are bad, and some are very bad. For example, when 6 9 signed that plea deal that would allow him to snitch on his crew and the Trey 9 Bloods, he got the good consequence of knowing he would be protected in jail, that he would be guaranteed to not serve life in prison, and that depending on his corruption, operation, he would not be getting a very large sentence no matter what. Those are some pretty good consequences. However, there were some very bad consequences that were tied up in that, including one that speaks to the very nature of 6 9 leading up to the November arrest. Mainly, he can't say he's the most hard guy out there. The image factor. It's the real New York City, Tell man. Them you you know Tell them what you running. Tell them what you running. New York moms, right? <laughs> Tell them what you running. <laughs> New York is mom, man. In every single genre of music, there are different images that singers and artists portray in order to show who they are and connect with their fans. And rap is no different in that regard. There are those who are there solely for music and expression. There are those who came up from a rough life and went into music to try and escape it, then make a life for themselves through their songs. And then there are those who use the music to try and gain fame and an image that'll carry them far in life. For Takashi, aka 6 9 he was definitely in that third category. Sure, he had a somewhat hard upbringing, but most of that was on him. So when he started to realize he wanted to get into rap music, he started doing a lot of dumb things in order to build up his cred on the streets. Ironically, these events would lead him to be arrested and charged with various crimes. I could go into that, but those past crimes, ironically, 
ironically have no consequences in this case because of the plea deal he made. Getting back on topic, one thing that 6 9 liked to do more than anything else was blasting out about how tough he was in his image and stuff like that. He even proclaimed himself the king of New York, which upset a lot of rappers when he started throwing that moniker around. Because if you don't know, 6 9 is only 23, so he's in his early 20s and was saying he was the king of a city that had a lot more famous people than him in virtually every way that mattered. Yeah, he was an arrogant little snot. As if that wasn't enough, he started to alter his body in terms of hair color, tattoos, jewelry, and more, all to fit the image of how tough he was. And this applied to his music and music videos, where he would act out being in tough situations or using firearms to solve his problems and all that. To him, the image of a rapper was almost as important, if not more important, than actually being a rapper, which is not exactly the look you want to go for, but he did it, and he made some success off of it. But the problem is that because he took the plea deal, that image is gone, shattered, and it's not coming back. There's literally no way it can come back via how he went about it. I can already hear some of you complaining about his statement. But hey, you say, what's wrong with wanting to take a deal to get a lesser sentence? I heard he was facing the possibility of life in jail time. And yeah, you do have a point. Life in prison is no joke. And just about anyone threatened with a life sentence would go and try to get out of it legally if possible. However, prison time in the rap culture is viewed in a different way than in other parts of the culture. Because if you claim to be tough and you get time, you're supposed to take it. Granted, you can fight to get out of it, and 6 9 did, and has done so in the past. But once the sentence comes down, you're supposed to be a man and do your time, even if that time is life. By accepting the plea deal, regardless of how much time he knocked off the punishment, 6 9 has proven that he's not about the life like he claimed he was. Not that this is exactly a surprise to many people out there. Many people in the rap world actually questioned 6 9s toughness nearly from the get-go. He might have acted tough and dressed and talked like it, but many thought that this was just a front. And this proves that in a way, it was proven even before this plea deal happened, because the moment he was put in jail, he tried to get out of general population because he was afraid of what was going to happen to him inside the joint. Then, he was put in an area with non-violent offenders. That doesn't sound like something a tough rapper would do unless he was very afraid of nearly everyone around him. Again, asking for protection can be fine in certain circumstances, but the way that 6 9 went about doing this proves that he was all show and no action. For 6 9 his image was a big part of who he was. He walked, talked, and played big, but the moment he went to jail, the mirror image shattered, and he showed he'll do just about anything to get a lesser sentence, including writing out his former crew, giving insights into the works of the 9 Trey Bloods, and even saying things like Cardi B was a member of the group too. Yeah, that one was a blow that many didn't see coming, even if it's not exactly proven at the moment. I mean, would you trust his testimony? Anyway, losing his image is a very big consequence, because even if he gets out early and tries to go back to rap, he can't use the image that he did before. No one will believe him when he says he's tough, or if he tries to rap about how he survived jail, everyone will just point to the various articles of his snitching and note that he got out by being a snitch, and we all know what happens to those with that label. What price? Snitching? 6 9 is snitching on his gang and he's going into witness protection. 6 9 long proclaimed that he was part of the 9 Trey Bloods, and that was part of the reason he was arrested, because the FBI caught him with illegal firearms and substances, and planning to sell them in order to build up a criminal empire. That's called racketeering, and it's very illegal, and all in the name of the 9 Trey Bloods. Anyway, he's saying a lot about his connection to the group, and so you would think that would make him loyal to the group, right? After all, there are three very basic rules when it comes to a group like that. 1. Know your role and do your job. 2. Look after the group, because it's like family. 3. Don't betray the group. There's a reason that groups like these work in regards to long-term actions. If no one trusted each other, they'd all implode within days or weeks. But the system helps them thrive knowing the roles keep them organized and strong. And having each other's back means that the whole group doesn't fall because of one person. And there is nothing, nothing worse than a snitch in the group like the Nine Trays. And if you've seen anything like NCIS, CSI, Law & Order, where such groups are the focus, you'll see that a lot of snitches don't end up in good places by the time the episode is over. Hence the phrase that is taken on worldwide, snitches get stitches. Because to snitch is an unforgivable sin in that world. And 6 9 just broke that rule, and he's still breaking that rule with every single court day that he does. Not only did he break that rule, but he also broke it two folds. First, he broke the rule when it came to helplessly testifying against the rest of the group that got arrested with him. The very same people who 6 9 once called his own little crew and friends until they weren't, and 6 9 fired them only a few weeks before the arrest. I fired everybody in my team. I got no manager, I got no booking agent, no PR, no public. I don't got nobody on my team. But it's just as important when he confessed to the various counts put against him. He mentioned that he did some of these things on the orders of the members of the Nine Trey Bloods, and by the working of his plea deal, he had to help put these guys away for their own crimes, should he know about them. This means that not only did he give the snitch to his former friends, but to the crew he swore he was a part of, and confessed in court that he was indeed one of them multiple times over, and provided proof of such things, all because he wanted a lesser prison sentence, and given the severity of the charges, there was no doubt in some people's minds that he's still getting massive jail time. So you almost have to wonder, if he just cracked under the pressure of potentially facing life in prison, versus possibly getting out 
out one day. It's honestly a very basic instinct that many have had, but still, not the best move in terms of consequences. Not to mention, by the time that 6 9 got to his recent court appearance in September, pretty much all the other members of his crew were convicted, pled guilty, or got smaller deals for themselves. None of them turned on each other, save for 6 9 on them. That's going to cost him dearly, both in prison and out, should he ever get out. And now, he's branded. In that world, being a snitch is a mark you have to carry with you wherever you go, and no matter what you say or try to explain, the mark of snitch is one that won't be taken away. So his life in that life is over in numerous ways, and it's not like he can lie about what he did or why he did it, because this has been a big story all over, including blowing up on the internet at times and creating various hashtags on Twitter because of the exploding story. His mark is known, and it will be known, and most importantly of all, the rap community knows of the mark and they're not a fan of it. The thoughts of the rap community. If you a rat, I don't respect you, straight up, on no tight level. As noted, snitching is frowned upon in the community that he's in. Rappers believe that snitching is a big violation of the law of the streets, and many won't associate with those that do it. And so in that vein, you could argue that 6 9 has shot his rap career in the foot because of his snitching, as virtually no one in the rap community wants to associate with him now. And even inside the prison he's in, he's basically alone. Well, that's a grim thing to say, you'd no doubt are noting. He could make friends in prison, it's happened before, and you would be right. But you must remember that 6 9 is now a snitch, and the most important thing in the prison system is trust, especially between inmates. Sure. They might talk to him, but they likely won't tell him anything personal because they'll be afraid that he'll use it to his advantage and get them in trouble in order to get a smaller sentence. He's proven that multiple times, including during the recent court hearings. Plus, he's a very recognizable snitch, which means that the attention will be drawn to him. But just as important as that, while he's in jail, the rest of the world is moving on without him. His music, his works, his money, he can't do anything with them from jail. And while there's little doubt he'll get more publicity via his actions, seriously, that Cardi B story blew up the internet because it came out of nowhere. Eventually, the story will end with him getting jail time or him getting released. And what if he does get released? Will he just go right back into the rap world? That's not going to be as easy as you might believe it will be. The rap world is a very tight-knit group, and several major power players in that world have dubbed 6 9 a snitch for what he's done, and that means that he is untouchable in the worst way possible. Now obviously, because of the power of the internet and other factors, he can still make music. He wasn't really with a publisher before getting arrested, his beats were his own, so he can still do that, but without some support from the rap community, or worse, being completely shunned by them? That's a fate that many would feel is worse than death because that was his life and now he can't have it anymore. Plus, there's very literal interpretation of that feeling that needs to be stated. Will these consequences catch up to him? So let's talk about the very obvious elephant in the room. Mainly, is there a chance that because of his snitching, the 9 Trey Bloods will come after 6 9 if he is released? The simple answer is yes. It's not only a likely scenario, it's honestly very very plausible. Think about it like this. Someone has just hurt your family in a very bad way. Don't you wish for revenge? Sure. Some of us will unwillingly go to that far, but the 9 Trey Bloods have done far worse to people that they barely know. So to hurt a snitch, that's very much in their ballpark. Now of course, getting to 6 9 isn't as easy as it sounds, not the least of which is because even if he gets released from prison, which for the record is not a guarantee to happen soon, they'll want to protect him. He's their star witness. If he goes away, a lot of charges will no doubt get dropped and the FBI will not want that at all. To that end, there is a clause on the plea deal that 6 9 signed that states if he gets out of jail and if he is in danger from the 9 trade bloods, he can go into witness protection. Those who know witness protection know that it's not a perfect solution, especially since 6 9 will have to quite literally leave his whole life behind to head to a newer and safer location outside of the reach of the group. So that might be the ultimate consequence of his snitching. He may have his life after leaving jail, but it won't be the life that he was expecting or hoping for. But as they say, you reap what you sow. And there you have it, a look at the situation that 6 9 is in and what consequences will likely be served to 6 9 both now and in the future. Which of these consequences do you think is the worst of the lot? Do you think that 6 9s life is over in regards to how it was before the arrest? What do you think will come next for him. Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on King Trending. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it.